This table gives us a summary for deciding which ionic compounds are soluble in aqueous solution and the exceptions, and it tells us which ions tend to form insoluble compounds and the exceptions as well. And so to help me learn this, I came up with five solubility mnemonics. They're printed here at the bottom. Sol Chuck Kualke knows exceptions? Nah. Sol Brickell double hugged Agatha and Paul Bunyan too. Sol Sulf ate two huge bars and peanut butter too. The poor crow was cold. He huddled with everyone, but Al K said, nah. So, you two are always combined. Not when we're strongly basic. Let's try and explain these. If you take the time to learn them, I guarantee it's going to help you in doing any sort of solution chemistry. Let's take the ions that tend to be soluble in aqueous solution first. If we look at the top of the screen, in red we have the acetate ion. This is my abbreviation for any alkali metal ion, ALK with a plus symbol, the nitrate ion, and the ammonium ion. These have no exceptions with regard to solubility. Any compound that has any of these ions in it is soluble. Which brings us to the first mnemonic. It's down in red, right in the middle of the screen. Sol Chukualke knows exceptions? Nah. No exceptions. Notice that we have Sol in there, which indicates these are soluble compounds. Chukualke knows exceptions? Nah. No exceptions. Let's look up near the top at the green line. The bromide, iodide, and chloride ions tend to form compounds that are soluble in aqueous solution. However, there are a few exceptions, and they're listed here on the right. This is called the mercury-1 ion, the silver ion, and the lead-2 ion. So if you look down at the bottom of the screen, where there's green writing, we see here Sol Brickell double-hugged Agatha and Paul Bunyan, too. In other words, the bromide, iodide, and chloride ions, Brickell, they are soluble. Sol Brickell double hugged. I don't know what a double hug is, but that was the best I could come up with to remind me that it was HG2 2 plus, double hugged. Agatha, that's the silver ion, and then Paul Bunyan, too. B2 plus. Saul Brickell double hugged Agatha and Paul Bunyan too. These three ions are soluble, but if they double hug, whenever you double hug somebody, you bond with them, you get together with them. So when any of these three ions, bromide, iodide, chloride, whenever they double hug mercury 1 or silver or lead 2, those are insoluble. Those compounds do not split into ions in solution primarily. That's that mnemonic. Let's look at the blue one at the top of the screen. We see that the sulfate ion yields ionic compounds that are soluble, except with mercury-1, barium ion, strontium ion, and the lead-2 ion, which at the bottom of the page leads us to the next mnemonic. Sol sulfate two huge bars. You have to be a little dyslexic when you look at the bars because the strontium ion, the R and the S are reversed, but it's the best I could come up with. Sol, sulf, eight, and whenever you eat something, you bond with it. You eat it and now the two of you are together, so sulfate ions are soluble except with mercury-1, barium ion, strontium ion, and the lead-2 ion. Let's look at ions that typically form insoluble compounds. At the top of the screen we have the phosphate ion, the chromate ion, and the carbonate ion, and those form compounds that are insoluble, unless the compounds that they form have alkali metal ions or the ammonium ion, which right in the middle of the screen in purple brings me to the next mnemonic. Po, cro, 
was coal. The poor crow was coal. See, the po crow was coal. He huddled with everyone, right? If you huddle with somebody, you're bonding with them. So the phosphate, chromate, and carbonate ions tend to huddle. They tend to clump. But Al K said, nah, right? Al K doesn't want to huddle. Any alkali metal ion with these three won't be insoluble. It'll be soluble. Same with the ammonium ion. And the last one, up at the top here, the sulfide and hydroxide ions tend to form insoluble compounds, except with the ammonium ion and what I've termed the strong base cations. So at the bottom of the page in black, so you two are always combined. That is, they're always combined with something. Obviously not each other because they're both negatively charged. But they tend to be combined. They tend to be bonded. They tend to be insoluble. Not when we're strongly basic. Not, that is, anything with ammonium bonding with these is soluble. And then the strong base cations are the five alkali metals. Then these three alkaline earth metals, calcium, strontium, barium. And those are what I call the strong base cations. And if you look at that shape, it's a lowercase b, b for base. Those are the strong base cations. Any of those cations bonded with these two would classify that as a soluble substance. So here we have Saul Chuck Kual K, no exceptions. Nah. The Honorable No Nonsense Judge Saul Chuck Kual K. His real name Saul, but he goes by Chuck. Acetate ion, alkali metal ions, nitrate and ammonium ion, soluble every time. Saul Brickell, double hug Agatha, and Paul Bunyan too. And there's Saul Brickell, double hugging Agatha. And there's Saul Brickell, double hugging Paul Bunyan. Again, what that says is those three ions form soluble compounds in aqueous solution unless they are going to double hug those three ions. In that case, they are insoluble. Sol sulfate, two huge bars, and peanut butter, too. So on the left, we have the slightly sickened Sol sulf because he ate two huge, I'm going into a sugar coma, bars, and peanut butter. So sulfate ions are all soluble unless the sulfate ion is paired up with mercury-1, barium, strontium, or lead-2 ion. The poor crow was cold. He huddled with everyone, but Al K said, nah. There's the poor crow who was cold. There's the poor crow who was cold, attempting to huddle with everyone. And on the right, the somewhat aloof Al K politely declining the crow's overture to huddle. All of these ions form insoluble compounds unless they're joined up with alkali metal ions or ammonium ions. So, you two are always combined, not when we're strongly basic. Those ions form insoluble compounds, except with ammonium and the strong base cations. There the mnemonics are. I promise you, if you take the time to memorize those, your life is going to be much simpler. Every year I get emails from my students in college who say, thank you, Mr. Bergman, for making me memorize these solubility mnemonics because it's making my life a lot easier.